If you can do a lot with a little, you're going to make it very, very far in life. And what I mean by that is people who care about the little things end up getting responsibility for the big things. This can be um, kind of frustrating at first, especially if you're first starting out in your career and you're not quite sure um, what you should be doing, or, or maybe you think you've got a lot of skills to offer. And so you want to do big projects because everyone everyone sees the big stuff, right? It's what's on TV, it's what's in the theater, it's what's in print, it's what's online, all the big stuff. Anything popular is usually kind of a bigger production. And so when people start off, they want to do those big things and they feel like they have the skills and the talents to do those things. And that may very well be the case. You might have the ability to do something amazing, but what's more than likely going to happen is you're not going to be given you know, a, a huge $20 million budget to go make a film. You're going to be given a $20 budget to go make some video for Facebook or Instagram or something like that, right? You're going to have to start really, really small. And uh, a danger that can come along with that is when people are first starting off is if they're given the small stuff, they might feel like this is beneath them. They don't really care about it. Oh, it's just whatever. It's just a it's just a web video. I'm not really going to worry about it. It's just it's, ugh, whatever. I don't really want to be doing this. I just have to do it because you know it's the stuff that pays the bills, right? The problem with that though is if you don't care about that little stuff, no one is ever going to give you anything bigger than that. Because if someone gives you a little bit to work on and they can tell that you don't care about it, you're not really invested in it, you're not going to do a good job with it, why would they ever trust you to do better when you're given more? And it's kind of like this, this um, paradox almost where people are like, well, I would care if it was actually worth caring about, but it's so small, I'm not going to care. And then the person giving the project or other people looking at it might say, well, if you're not going to care about the little thing, why would I ever give you something bigger? Because clearly you're not going to care about that either. And at what point do you draw the line between stuff that's worth caring about and isn't caring about? You know, A lot of people want to go work in Hollywood, but they only want to work in Hollywood because they think of like their favorite movies. Like, yeah, it would be fun to work on your favorite movie, but what about like your least favorite film? Is that something you'd want to work on too, just because it's cool? Well, it's not cool because you hate it. So would you still be willing to do it? And that's what really like it tells you if you if you want to do the career that you're in is if you would do the best of it or the worst of it and you'd still be happy, you'd still be content at the end of the day. Obviously, everyone wants to work on the best. That like that's the goal for everyone, right? But if you're still willing to do it when it's like kind of the worst, that's a pretty good sign that you're doing what you're meant to be doing. And if it's not, if you if you look at yourself and you say like, oh man, I really, I really don't care when it's not something that is like cool or fun, then see if you can find a way to tweak that in your brain. Because what what will happen over time, and I guarantee you, if you invest into the small stuff, into the stuff you don't care about, the boring stuff that no one else wants to do, if you do that really, really well and you care about it and, and you care about the success of it, the quality of it, you are actually going to make it much further than everyone else who's just worried about doing the cool stuff. Everyone wants to do the cool stuff, but guess what? You'll get there by doing all the boring stuff by doing the stuff that no one else wants to do. Because that's the stuff, if it, if it is paying your bills, well, great, awesome, you've got your rent taken care of, but you're also getting the experience of like doing these things and managing projects, hopefully, and doing them at, at a level and a quality that someone is gonna look at and go like, wow, that was, they, they really knocked it out of the park. I didn't expect them to do that good of a job on something so small. Hey, maybe maybe they could do this other thing, you know, that's like, a, I, I didn't know they could do that. It's it's really like kind of the proof is in the work. And if you're going to be putting out work that you're not satisfied with or you're unhappy with or you're not proud of, why would you do the work in the first place? Because every time you do something, your name is attached to it, whether whether that's publicly or not, even behind the scenes, people know who worked on it. You know, the client will know, other people will know. And if you're going to put out subpar work, all of a sudden your name is now associated with subpar work. And you could say, oh, well, it's just, it's just because they gave me the scraps. Like, like what could I, what could I possibly have done? It was just scraps. But think about the mindset. If you actually do something amazing, everyone else is going to look at that and go, wow, look what that person did. They were given scraps and they made this amazing, incredible thing. 
That's the mentality you want people to have. That when people look at you, that's what they want you want them to be saying, because then they're going to give you the bigger and bigger and bigger stuff, and you can keep kind of stair stepping your way up. And and okay, you were given like a medium sized project, but you made it look like a large size project. Now you got this large size project, and oh my gosh, you just impress everybody. And you could have been able to do that from the beginning, but you're only going to have the chance and the opportunity to do it if you take those steps along the way, especially when you're starting off and like building your career. Anything you touch, anything you put your name on, whether it's public facing or, you know, maybe it's only a handful of people that know you worked on it. It still is your name and your brand, like you as an individual, your brand is on that product. And you can't undo it. You can't take it back. You can't say, oh, well, it was just a low budget. At the end of the day, people aren't going to know that probably if they're watching it or even if it's behind the scenes, it's still like, well, yeah, it was a low budget, but I still wanted you to care about it. It was, I paid you something. You did it for free. Why did you do it for free if you weren't going to care about it at all? Like, why would you invest your time in something that you're not going to care about and you're not going to do well? So that's why I just always encourage people to to do your absolute best, do better than your best, do as best you can on everything, even if it is the the smallest, most rinky-dink thing. I heard a great uh, quote the other day. Um, we were hanging out and kind of talking about this, and someone said, you know, if I have to shovel shit, I'm still going to have the biggest pile. And that is such like a good mentality to have because if you, if you have to do something that you don't want to do, you can still do it better than everybody else. And people will rec- recognize you for that. They're going to see the hard work and effort that you put in and you will be rewarded for that. It might not be instantaneous. Nothing ever is in life. There's, there's no easy button or quick fix, but you put in the hard work and it will pay off eventually. So treat the little stuff just like you would treat the big stuff. Care about everything, even if it's something you, you, you don't want to care about. Find a way to make it fun and rewarding and entertaining just for yourself. You know, Take pride. The fact that you're working on something, getting paid, hopefully, I assume getting paid to do something, even if it's not what you want to be doing or the fun thing, it's still in your career. Like hopefully, it's still in your industry. So you should take pride in that. Enjoy the fact that you're working, getting paid as a professional to do what it is that you're doing. And even if it is like the worst, the worst shit you've ever had to shovel, still make it the biggest pile. That's a really weird phrase, but I think it, I think it illustrates the point. 